The common denominator, if there is one, in, in cancer in general, is a, a malfunctioning of genes, where there's often too much of gene going on or not enough of that gene information getting out there. And if it's an important gene regulator, you get dysregulation, and that blocks biologic function, and, and, and normal cells lose their control mechanisms, and they just have a normal growth function, which we call differentiation, and they don't know when it's time to die. And any combination of those threes. And it doesn't take much to make that happen. For example, in the the entity I spoke about, the cupromyelocytic leukemia, all it really takes is two chromosomes not separating properly. And they come together the wrong way, and then they get, end up making an abnormal protein, one single abnormal protein because of that one mistake. And that's enough to produce this disease. But it, that one gene is, one mistake is like a master mistake, and it blocks other gene functions and other gene functions. So I often say like all roads lead to Rome or all genes lead to genes. And so when you do and look at the, all the genes that are messed up, all of these functions, you'll say, my God, is that a complicated disease? How are we going to attack it? Well, most of those are passengers to a driven driving gene that was messed up. And so that to me is more or less what happens here, that it, may, it, it doesn't take too many mistakes to make the whole thing happen. The confounding thing is that we're seeing ten thousands of abnormal gene expressions and signals, and people are saying, oh my gosh, this is so complicated, we have to hit all hundred, or whatever the numbers are. I don't believe that. I really believe if you can understand stand it from what's the, what's the principal player here, okay, and then you'll be able to solve the riddle of why everything else went away. And so APL turned out to be curable because we found the driver. And uh, so we can find the driver or the few drivers in each form of cancer, and they're going to be a little different. We'll be able to then attack it that way. Now it's more complicated than that uh, because there are many other, situ other things that are influencing cancer. And I often say that each person's cancer is their cancer. And that we've all known people who've had the worst scenario, scenario and they survived. And we also know people, on the other hand, who had really good outcome and they didn't. So you got to remember that it's your normal cell that's gotten messed up. And it's how your body deals with that at the same time. And, uh, and how much information got messed up is going to determine the outcome. That's the other part of the puzzle. We have to find those other pr factors that can help us not only deal with the driving gene that made it happen, but all of the other things that happen that modify the outcome and work on those. So that will tend to be more individual therapy on top of knowing what the driver is.